Home buyers in general, and especially first-time home buyers, feel uneasy and don't know how often they should call their agents. However, it's the agent's job to set the stage with the buyer to ensure they are comfortable when they need answers to questions. So let's talk about this. Hi, I'm Kelly Nitz of the Kelly Nitz team. Thanks for joining me today. Communication is key in a real estate transaction and it is the agent's job to set parameters and work within the client's own framework and needs. The client comes first, definitely. And if you feel as though you do not come first with your real estate agent, then you're probably working with the wrong real estate agent. You're a priority to the agent. Most agents dearly wanna be of service and want to be available when questions arise. Of course, you don't want to call your agent 10 times in a row. In fact, after you're in contract to buy a home, calling your agent more than once or twice a day could be considered excessive, but it depends on what's happening. If you're scheduling a variety of inspectors and juggling mortgage details, you might need to speak with your agent more often. And to help with any uneasiness, it's a good idea to ask your agent to share with you her preferred business hours. Some agents don't work past 7 in the evening. Others work until midnight. Some agents work on the weekends and others do not. Other ways to keep the lines of communication open without overdoing it is to either text or send an email. Most agents carry smartphones phones or tablets so they can receive communication from you while being able to respond as soon as practical instead of just not answering the phone if they happen to be with another client. Be sure to discuss with your agent early on in your relationship so that you can give um, so that the agent can give you the attention you deserve and you can get the answers you need. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to share this information with you today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos as we create them, click the subscribe button and you'll receive notices as we add them to our channel. And finally, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching.